here we are again. And there I am getting another snack. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get these, I guess. Going out of my way. Yeah, getting bananas and stuff, because that's what cool kids do, and cool kids want banana medals. I really don't know why they bother to do the thing with the banana medals. I mean, it leads up to like the jetpack thing, but the jetpack thing sucks. Not as bad as the DK Arcade. But you'd be hard pressed to find things worse than that. Although people probably argue like the Beetle Race is worse than the DK Arcade. But I don't even think the first Beetle Race is even that hard anymore. Like I've honestly got it before on my first try. The second one is quite worse. Quite worse. I don't know if that's a hard phrase. Yeah, I'm just fucking right on shit. But yeah. I don't, I don't know why they put Jetpack in there, because Square is just weird like that. And they're like, we made this game. We're gonna put it in this other game that we made. I don't know why, but when I was a little kid, I used to be afraid of doing this. And I really don't get it. I can't do anything else cool in this level with Rambi. The Rambi minigame is actually pretty fun, but... I can't remember if maybe I'm maybe there's something with like the restore points or something that doesn't make like the unlocks like the specials crap that you unlock like I remember just like not being in my game and I felt like it should have been but I don't know the mini game you I don't even know how you unlock it to be honest I don't know how you unlock a lot of the shit in this game because back in the day. It was just like there because uh, my dad had played this game and unlocked a bunch of stuff before I had bothered doing it. I think there's a, a gnat among us and that pisses me off. I hate gnats. I had a gnat try to crawl up my nose one time, that was fun. Diddy, how many coins do you have? Oh, actually, enough. But I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and do this thingy. This really random banana in here. It's just kind of sitting there. See, I see a lot of people bitching about the supposedly... Supposedly huge amount of backtracking that's in this game. And if it's like within a level, I don't count that as being backtracking because you're within one level. But then it's like... The backtracking you have to do. Where's the thing that is? Do you have the backtracking that you have to do, like going from one level back to one that you already visited? It's like, yeah, I guess there is sort of a lot of that, but I mean, backtracking to this level later with other cones you unlock, it's like they're really, really, really easy bananas. I mean, the worst bit of backtracking I consider there to be in this game is, um, Lanky having to go back and get that fucking bunny race banana. Which, for, somehow in the N64 version, I don't remember ever having problems with it. Possibly because of lag, or maybe just getting lucky with the rabbit getting caught on an enemy or whatever. But, like, in this version, I've only able to beat it, only been able to beat it, I can't talk, um, with the glitch. Probably won't be showing that in this LP, but, um, yeah. Okay, so I need to go get Diddy's Potion. Even though I might skip the minecart banana, because I don't like it that much. Well, the minecart banana itself is fine, but, like, the lead up to it is always annoying to me for some reason. <laughs> Also, I don't know why, but the widescreen option in this game, it doesn't work. And you would think that it would, considering that this is being played on, like, an HD system. But changing it to widescreen doesn't seem to do anything, so. I don't know, fam. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> no balloons. 
I'm already doing it again. Shiny. Oh, here we go. I'm already devolving into gibberish. This is just like old times. Except now I'm more self aware. Bailey snores dramatically in the distance. And by the distance, she's like three feet behind me, maybe. Bailey is not at all impressed by this video game. I guess she just has better standards in video games than I do. Okay, I need to, like, think of what I'm doing. Three, technically. I need to go get his kiss flat. Oh, there's some bananas. And I need to open this thingy. Well, I don't, but I mean, I always do it before I have Lanky and come back. Mainly because, well, I open it early because I can, I don't know. But I mean, normally I would probably just skip that banana, but it leads to a fairy. And if I'm not 101%ing this game, I don't need to care about the fairies, but I do like getting at least some of them because they up your quantities of stuff, which is convenient. Did I get the bananas in these trees already? Bailey, you're snoring very loudly. Okay. I'm gonna get DK's stuff. I might end up inadvertently 100%ing this level for him, just because it's easy. I don't know, it would be nice to like finish this portion of the level in this video. Ripper, dipper, dipper, dipper. Cuts off. Also, as for turning in blueprints, I probably won't do that until I have like a bunch of them and do it all at once and probably off screen because that's a big ass time waster. I'm gonna do this, which is also kind of a big ass time waster, especially if I mess it up. But I will try not to. Also, there are parrots up here for no reason. Well, okay, it's the sky, but like, it's the sky! But no. I should totally LP um, Pokemon Snap. And they need to make a new fucking one of those on the new Nintendo NX. Oh, come on. Whatever, I just won't get those. It's not a big deal. Okay, thank God I didn't miss that one. I'm just kind of pissed I missed that one. Um, okay, so, yeah, he's done. Uh, three's fine. I'm not gonna get any more of those, I don't think. Nah. Wait, how many bananas does he have, though? Okay, yeah, I am gonna go do that. That was convenient. I'll go in and get the easy banana in this one. In the... I don't know what the hell this thing is supposed to be. Like, a... I mean, it's kind of like the termite mound and... Um, Mumbo's Mountain, but there's no termites in it. I just, it's just like a hill. I don't know. Also, I remember in this version, for some reason, this, like, walkway goes, it, like, disappears, like, really early for no reason. Also, this room makes me nervous, like, every time I go in it now, because one time when I was playing it on the N64, it just froze for no reason. But I doubt that that will have happened here. I'm gonna get this coin, because, you know, I totally need it. It's right here where it froze. I'm triggered by this area. No, I don't know. I don't know where I am. How do I still not have 75 bananas? Are you fucking kidding? There's not any on top of the things. Whatever. Inch downward. I'm not doing this correctly. Shit. I didn't kill that other bee either. I'm just fucking reckless right now, I guess. Okay, get behind me. I said get behind me, ma'am. No! Okay. And that was where the timer was like overlapping with the coin total. Oh no, there's a balloon up there. I'm good. I'm good. It's just great.
random stutter. And that five shows up for some reason. This is the most like inconsequential like number pad in the whole game. How am I missing this? Thank you. All right, now I'm ready to be done. It kind of sounds like it might start raining. I hope that does not happen. I do. I gotta stop doing that. Oh, fuck off. Please don't hit me again. You know, I think you can actually kill those bees by throwing an orange at them from above them. Which, I mean, yeah, that makes sense, but it also doesn't make any sense. Bees are almost topical because, um, last week I discovered a small bees or wasps nest, like, in one of my windows. And there's just a bee hanging out in there. But then we, like trapped it in the window and now it's dead and I'm just like rest in peace fucker all these people are like hashtag save the bees and it's like well yeah save the bees so that the planet doesn't end but also like I don't think we need to act like bees or like perfect little angels I don't know anyway boss fight that guy's fucking large and that lady's also large I'm totally gonna lose this match. This match? This is not a match. I'm too used to talking about Splatoon. I could always record myself playing Splatoon, but that could get ugly. Even though I've already done it twice, cough cough. I don't know, I feel like recording Splatoon would only be particularly useful if it was unranked, and I fucking hate ranked. Well, I hate all the ranked modes that aren't splat zones like i wish they would put splat zones in regular play because i would do that shit all the time but then like well rainmaker is okay but then tower control sucks my ass so i don't know i didn't time it right this sounds really loud to me i discovered that um these videos are really really quiet unless you're playing it through your buds also, I'm just kind of a quiet person in general, so I feel like I have to shout, but whatever. This music is really, really dramatic for a really easy boss fight. Oh my god. It is really cool music, though. Bailey continues to snore loudly. The explosions are fucking loud. Everything's loud now. Inhuman squid. This is a lot nicer without the lag, though. I don't know if anyone's like, well, speedrunners probably have, but um, I don't know if anyone's calculated how much time you can save in this game by cutting out all the lag, but it's probably at least a few hours. And the squawk shows up to say shit we don't care about, and then I already know. That makes a funky noise. Save even though I don't need to, and then we exit, and I'm gonna narrate everything I do. I'm gonna kill that beaver. I'm gonna roll around more because it's faster, which seems to be a trend of video games. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I need to stop. Miss. <laughs> Swerve. Go underwater because it's faster. Sad music with the bass guitar. That's not a bass guitar. Bass clarinet. More telekinesis shit here. And this doesn't even make any sense because it looks like it's gonna explode and then it just goes up. It's really unsatisfying. It's kind of like in Banjo Tooie when like a giant beam will shoot out of the Jiggy Wiggy Temple thing and just like calmly opens the door. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and go to Angry Aztec. Slowly, I might add. 
Not as slow as could be. I really like Angry Aztec for some reason. I mean, I feel like it doesn't matter in this game to have like a favorite level. Like it doesn't make sense to me to pick one really, but I, I really like Angry Aztec for some reason, even with the Beetle Race. But I already said that I don't care about the Beetle Race anymore, so. I will definitely do it in this game, in this playthrough of this game. Okay, stop. Uh, what am I doing on coins? Why? Where the hell did I get 11 coins? I don't even remember getting that many. Good lord. With. Not with. Okay. Again, I don't need to do this now, but I always do. And I know you also don't really need to use Strong Kong to get that crush up, but I'm just glad, but I, I will anyway. Because I play by the rules. Here's another cutscene we don't need. It's like, holy shit, there's a llama. You totally would have noticed that without us pointing this out to you. Long pause. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and do this just because Candy Kong is basically a meme at this point. And she's a lesbian. Which we'll find out later. Also, that saxophone is the shiniest thing in existence. Someone should remix this song. Now watch this. When he, when he lands, he won't be standing straight. Like, he's not facing straight forward toward her like he was before. That's really stupid. But, um... I guess when I start the next video, I won't have... I'll, like, have Diddy already have his shit, and we'll continue. So, yeah, uh, here's the end of the episode stroke. Okay, yeah, bye.